In the previous video, we used a procedure for deciding the relationship between two lines in R3, and this decision tree for two lines will capture in flowchart form the procedure that we used. So if we take a look at the images that we had for the four different cases, the first thing we asked ourselves was, is the direction vector d1 parallel to the direction vector of the second line, d2. And you'll remember that in two cases, the direction vectors are parallel. So if direction vectors are parallel, the lines are parallel, parallel distinct, or coincident. And that leaves here the cases where the direction vectors are non-parallel. So if you answer no, that the direction vectors are non-parallel, then your two lines have to be intersecting or skew. Now to distinguish between each of these, we had a second step, depending on whether you were on the right-hand side of this flowchart or, uh, well, that's the left-hand side or the right-hand side, there is a follow-up question. So if you have answered that, the direction vectors are parallel, so the lines are parallel or coincident, you are then going to be looking at the vector p1, p2. And you are going to ask, is it also parallel to those two direction vectors? And right, either it is or it isn't. And if you answer yes, that it is parallel, that all those vectors are parallel, your lines are coincident. If you answer no, that the p1, p2 is not parallel to the two direction vectors, then your lines are parallel. Now on the other side of the tree, when our lines are intersecting or skew, the follow-up question involved the triple scalar product. We wanted to know, are the lines coplanar or not? Which is the same thing as asking, is the triple scalar product equal to zero or not. And if the triple scalar product is equal to zero, then those lines are intersecting. And if the triple scalar product is not zero, then the lines are non-coplanar, which makes them skew.